Tonight is AEW All In 2024, but will you be going all in with the bets? Well, we've got you covered right here, right now, with the betting odds for all the matches on tonight's pay per view. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling. We're on bettingpros.com. Don't know if I would recommend this website. Don't know if it's necessarily safe. There's some ads popping up and shit like that. But screw it. We're here to give you the content that you need. Or sometimes the content that you don't need. But we need to give you anyway. So I, with that said, any thoughts on all in before we look at the odds? I wouldn't listen to the betting bros talking about betting pros. <laughs> There's definitely more cons than pros to betting. I'll tell you if that you, much. If you want to win money, don't listen to us. That's pretty much the... Now... I was going to do a giveaway for All In, but we thought, you know what? Way too many matches. Not even sure because of the spoilers and the, the just the booking, what actually is going to happen. So we're going to wait and we're going to do the giveaway at Bash at Berlin because we know it'll be a simple, stupid five-match card. It'll be easier to set something up and we'll we'll come up with our own bonus questions. Plus, a lot of people don't give a shit about AEW. So. A lot of people don't. So yeah, if you want to win back some money that you lost tonight. Bash at Berlin, we'll see you there. But right now, let's get into it. Is Brian Danielson favourite here to, uh, to win the night? We're going to look through. So let's go through. Um, first couple of matches here, singles matches. We've got Hook. Is minus 2,000 Jericho plus 700. God damn. So, I mean, Jesus Christ. So that means Jericho's favourite? No, uh, no, Hook's favourite by a, a long, long way. So, uh, my, that's about 1 to 20, essentially. Jericho's 71. I need to have a beef with these Americans. See this odds system? W why? Th why? Well, minus 2,000. What is this? No, what, what is it with Americans? He's rod it. Minus 2,000. Why not? Why can't he just be uh, 1 to 20? We all know that. Do you know this is ridiculous? No? No, it is I, but uh, I mean, that's just the way the, the odds are. So, by my calculations, $100 on Jericho wins you $700 plus your original $100 back. $100 on Hook wins you $5. Not worth it then. No, definitely not. So, Hook, big favourite. Will Osprey, minus 5,000. Massive favourite to defeat MJF. Is he going to do it with his little um, shitey gay manoeuvre that almost kills people? It's okay. Oh, well, you can take it out of retirement. I mean, Branyl Dian Dianson, well, he might die, actually, considering the neck injuries he could be rolling into. This guy's having a retirement match and on Dynamite he's too busy telling Will Ospreay it's alright if you use that move. You know way. what? Well, that's not going to be a good look when Will Ospreay brings that move and actually hurts somebody. So, No, but is that not retarded? Imagine Ric Flair, the, the show before Mania 24 or Michaels before Mania 26. He's like, ah, fuck my match with The Undertaker. Here, see you. Uh, who's, who's appearing on Mania? John Morrison, you got to use the, the corkscrew neckbreaker if you want to win that money in the bank match, buddy. <laughs> Fuck off. Doesn't work. Um, right. Mercedes money, minus 5,000. Pretty much, then, what we have here is three matches. Card. Yeah. Although, I mean, I'm not necessarily sure I'm predicting Will Osprey to win or, or Hook, but I think Mercedes will win. Any thoughts on the first three? Apparently, it's uh, based on these odds, it's no brainer. It's, it's a foregone win. conclusion. Here, you have to tune into our predictions to see it. What I'm going to go for. Jack Perry, minus 1,000. Darby Allen, plus 550. I tell you what, Tony Khan has said that AEW all in. I mean, we don't know what the big WrestleMania is, but according to Tony Khan, it seems like all in is AEW's biggest paper for you of the year. Well, first of all, the build-up to this All-In, I don't think, feels like it's a special build-up. Certainly doesn't feel like it's the biggest build-up to a show ever. And Wait, hold on. See, before we go any further, I just realised something. It's a, it's in Wembley? Yeah. So what time's it on at? I believe it still starts at midnight. What? For the American audience, yeah. It's a midnight start. I just thought that. I was like, hold on here. I'm talking about sitting up watching this shit. It's probably already been... Midnight at Wembley. Well, UFC did that when they were in there. That's UFC. They're allowed to do that. That's <laughs> Tony, Tony Khan's Kane. banned a fucking job or so allowed to do that. Uh, again, see we w, w, the only reason WWE are doing these shows because it's on the network and it's nine ninety nine and no one gives a fuck. Pay per views are dead. Yeah. See if see if WWE are still doing pay per views, you wouldn't be getting bash in Berlin and these shows in France and, and these American shows because they would lose out in too much money in the the pay per view buy rates, but. 
You know, it, it, WWE can afford to do it because of the network, and it's let's be honest, the network is crap. I'm not. Like, I appreciate it, right? Nine ninety nine for a, a premium live event, every but look at the quality you're getting. And people, that, that, that's how you know this era shite, right? People think it's the best era ever. See if Triple H was really cooking and this was the best wrestling was ever, they, they'd be char- They would know for a fact that they could charge you big money for pay-per-views and people would buy it. No, I agree. But yeah. the pay-per-view buy rates were down and that's the reason they went to the network is because like less and less people were buying pay-per-views and they thought, oh, fuck, well, at least if we offer the, the library in nine ninety nine, you know, that kind of covers what we're losing. If wrestling was great, if Triple H was great, they'd be like, oh, you know what? People love this product. Let, let's actually start charging again for shows. Yeah. No, it's you know, you're, you've hit the nail on the head there, so let's move on. But who knows? Maybe AW will need to go to um, <laughs> networks or something because I can't imagine their buy rates have been good lately. But see, WWE is a business. And it, like, you know, it, it helps them getting the guaranteed money. AW doesn't need the money. They don't. That is the fucking difference. Yeah, Tony Khan doesn't care. Minus 2,000, Mariah May against Tony Storm. All right, what I don't like here is this is supposed to be their biggest show of the year and the first five single matches are, are you know, so predictable. That That's not a good look. No, it's not. i tell you what, there's a lot of matches on this show. I'm next with Brian Danielson, minus 500. All right, we're getting a little bit closer here. Brian Danielson, maybe not as big a favourite as some people would um, believe or compared to the others. $100 on Swerve Strickland. Would get you three hundred back, so you'd have four hundred in total. Hundred dollars on Brian Danielson would win you twenty dollars, so therefore you would have a hundred and twenty dollars. Closest matchup so far, but still, it's still massive. Big favorite there for Brian Danielson. So that's what it is. Let's move on to the trios matches. The Young Bucks minus seven hundred, FTR plus four hundred, the acclaimed plus seven hundred. So again, Young Bucks massively expected to win that. All right. We have a close match here. The only problem is nobody gives an absolute single fuck about it. Chris Statland and Stokely Havaway are marginal favourites over Willow Nightingale and Timahiro Ishii. But like I said, it's just a nothing match that doesn't matter. Bunch of diddy men, literally. I mean, Stokely Havaway is a diddy man. Yeah. We have the Patriarch in minus 400, Mystery Team plus 200, <laughs> Bang Bang Gang plus 550 in the House of Black. Plus 1,400. I believe that mystery team is the Blackpool Combat Club in Pack. Yeah. Could Pack win? I don't know. No, that, that is the mystery team. Who gives a shit, buddy? So I'm not really I interested. Mean, they're telling us that the best bet is Will Osprey. How the fuck's that the best bet? I think that match is on a knife edge. Yeah, they're, oh, they're pushing him, but MJF literally just returned. For me, it makes no sense for MJF to lose that belt. I think maybe... Will Osprey will win, but it'll be fear disqualification. The betting pros really actually understand how this works. The guy is minus 5,000 to fucking one. Now, maybe they're saying it's the best bet in terms of most chance of winning, but how much money do you realistically need to put on that to win? That's insane. I'd say the best bet's Daniel Bryan, because I don't think they'll retire him. But I'm not going to pretend it can't happen. But there's massive ramifications on the line with his match. Will Osprey, MJF, they're talking about, oh, they're not going to have Will Osprey lose because there's a rocket ship attached to him. But are they going to just have MJF lose to him? I don't think so. Ridiculous. Isn't that, isn't that $5,000 you need to put on to win $100? Yeah. So how's that the best bet? Most people don't have five grand, right? And if, they did, and if they did. You wouldn't be do- if you did, you wouldn't be betting on wrestling. You wouldn't no. be betting on a pre-fucking determined match. If yeah. you're betting thousands on wrestling, then I've uh, your must be your name must be I've some stuff or to sell you, brother. Aye. Anyway, guys, that's it. Uh, predictions for AEW all in coming soon. There's your odds. Till next time, enjoy them. Peace.